Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and today we are doing a September recap. So instead of just doing a September favorites, I kind of want to recap on some items I either received, tried out, purchased myself, some meals I've made, juices I've discovered, okay? And just go from there, right? So let's just go ahead and get started. So for the month of September, I went to Aldi's and found some candles. Aldi's came out with a bunch of fall candles and I got excited. However, I only purchased two of each one because I was thinking, eh, they're going to be okay. I'm not really sure about them. You know, $4, $5.99. I wish I had bought more. So the first one I am enjoying is Smoked Caramel Praline. This is a beautiful caramel praline scent. Great on the throat. Excellent. Look at this. I'm about to open the next one. I just got through burning this this morning and look how even this burns like this is a four dollar and 99 cent candle are you crazy and on top of that the throw is amazing whether it's cold throw or hot throw so cold throw is when you just have the candle sitting out after you've snuffed it or whatever and you just leave it out in the bathroom the door is closed right you open it up you're going to get wafts of this this is a beautiful fall definitely scent but you have to like the fall gourmand scents edible sense for sure to enjoy this one so yeah if i can find more of these i'm grabbing them i'm actually going to Aldi today and it's not my Aldi because my Aldi they were gone within the same week all right so this is one of the first ones that i'm thoroughly enjoying the other one i love which i saw these the other day so i'm going to pick up some more it's just a very unique fragrance you have to like a boozy note like a cognac a sidecar a cognac with like brown sugar orange bitters type of fragrance and hints of mint for you to enjoy this one this is called bourbon wild mint this one is so good definitely definitely more masculine are those women who likes those bourbon drinks like i'm not i don't mm -mm, i don't like dark liquor but this just smells good it's very unique so i can burn this for like 30 40 minutes when i get that even layer i snuff it out and it's just in there it's in my room for a long time so yeah this is one i burnt this morning for a little while look at that even burn four dollars and 99 cent y'all at aldi okay now the next candle i purchased at aldi is the toasted pecan and bourbon i knew this was going to happen to this for some reason jars that's that has like this shape to it this cylinder where it's not even it kind of goes out just a little bit i always have problems with burning these candles evenly and I, i'm not up for the foil trick i'm not doing that this one was i think 4.99 it's still a little from me burning it this morning but you see how it's kind of uneven does that dip in the middle so this one right here will go into the wax warmer i wanted to burn it because of the different layers of the scent so you have the toasted pecan at the top and the, bo the bottom was bourbon but i'm going to go ahead and put this on a wax warmer it's going to last probably all year long because it's going to burn or dissipate slower than it would if it was burning with fire yeah this is a good one. I went yesterday to look for more and I couldn't find any anywhere. They had several different other scents, but this is the one I want, the Toasted Pecan and Bourbon. So hopefully I can find more of these, even if it's not for this fall, just to put up in my cabinet for next year. The price is amazing. I'm telling y'all, I just closed the top. You know that when you put the top on, I can smell it. It's like all right here. This is good. Like Bath and Body Works could ever for this price. Like this is crazy how some of these candles are very expensive. Now one candle line I can say is worth the money is La Jolie Muse. They sent me out a pumpkin like spice candle. I started burning it. I immediately went on, on um, Amazon and purchased another one. That candle's good. I put it here. Their whole line of fall candles, some, some kind of toasted marshmallow something situation they have they are good those candles are small kind of pricey for that size yet the vessels are beautiful and the throw is amazing okay so definitely check this out definitely check check out the link i'll put down below for like jolly muse as well let's get into foods foods i've been enjoying a lot of different foods lately just trying to make new combinations Mm, of like more plant-based more live foods right living foods so i picked up the palmini from costco the about a week or two ago and i've had this twice it is so good i don't like the scent of it when i first take it out of the pack um it's hearts of palm so if you know that scent it's almost like a 
not really fishy i would say like fishy scent okay so it reminds me of like something from the sea right and once i rinsed it really good they come in so packs like these once i rinse it real good and then toss it in something then it takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking so i did a stir fry with some mushrooms or some mushrooms a bunch of peppers and onions i put this in with it and it was so good so it has the texture of pasta but almost like the texture of almost like a rice noodle like those type of noodles that you would get like the asian dishes with then like the american no the, then the italian pasta that is like thick with egg and whatever this is more reminds me of almost flour with a little bit of rice noodle type of situation this is good so much better for you too this one only has 20 calories per serving and each package has three servings like are you kidding me yeah this is good so definitely check this out at your costco if you can or just look it up and see if you can find it who knows where they sell that but that that is something really good for those of us who love pastas like i am a fanatic when it comes to pasta i'll go down that aisle and i want all the pastas so if i can switch my pasta out for a healthier option that is a vegetable base or a uh, palm based pasta okay i'm just saying i'm just saying all right so when it came to other foods i really was into snacking quite a bit even though i was eating a lot of raw foods for the month of september i went to uh i went to home goods three times <laughs> i think i uploaded it like twice because i was like i'm not gonna do this again they're gonna be sick of me but i was looking for things like cocoa nibs hemps and chia seeds because it's easy to purchase from home goods because they have a bunch of it and it's so affordable right so pepitas I bought so many of these that package that have like the cranberries, the almonds, the cashews, and they didn't. Have, it's, there's no salt on it. It is so good. They had a ton of raw nuts as well at Home Goods for like five ninety nine. Like you cannot beat this price. It's crazy. So anyway, I've been snacking on pepitas and um, pumpkin seeds, right? And what are these other ones called? I, I can't think of what they're called right now. Mm, yeah, I can't think of what they're calling that. But I've been snacking on this so much. Like, when I just want something quick and salty, like a handful, I'll snack on that. Originally, I wanted popcorn. Remember I told y'all? But this has suffice. Like, that crave, that need of something salty every blue moon to, to chomp on. Another thing I've been really enjoying, which I'm very surprised and shocked at myself. And I think it's because over time, my palate has really changed now. My palate is craving these raw fruits and vegetables. Carrot chips. Like carrot chips. And I've been eating that with salsa, guacamole, all the things dip. Or just as a side with my salad. I'm just really enjoying carrot chips. So much so, I purchased some blue chips recently. And they were just horrible. The texture and the taste, the dry, bitter... I don't know what it is, but since I'm loving the carrot chips, I'm just going to stick to them and maybe they'll get me off of eating chips eventually. We'll see. But with the pico I made the other day with the pineapple and it was so refreshing and so good. And then you bite into this crisp, cold carrot with it. I don't know. It was just really good and refreshing. So been enjoying that. I've been loving my Nama juicer. We all know this. It is one of my favorite things I have right now when it comes to gadgets or whatever. And I, I've tried a lot of things, a lot of gadgets. I find myself using the Nama Juicer, I would say three to four days a week. Yeah, if I'm not using it, they're trying to use it. And I've just been really enjoying making up different recipes for juices and just trying new things. And the fact that I can just dump eh, everything in there, close it up and let it go. Like, I'm just not struggling to chop everything. It's just, yeah, it's it's amazing. I don't know what to say. It's also linked down below if you're interested in my link tree. Yeah, save me some coins, honey. Use my discount. It's linked down below. Today's juice is that, Chris will call it applesauce. So he says it tastes like cinnamon applesauce to him. And this is the apple, the pear, the cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Look at it. It looks like applesauce. This is so good. So that's my juice for the morning, my breakfast. And loving it, right? So I think that's it for like foods when I things I've tried different this month. Yeah, I haven't really tried too many. Eh, yeah. 
I have really enjoyed the click and grow. I never did a video for them. I just kind of mentioned it here and there. So I really probably just need to film that today and knock it out. That click and grow system is amazing. I literally have been taking the starts from there and putting them either in the garden outside or in my garden, which is the huge tower and just letting them flourish, right? I feel like that's my starter. Now, as much as I like the let pot, which is also a starter, I feel like the click and grow allows more space, more room and more plant to grow. The let pot to me is a starter as well, but it doesn't, I don't know. Let me tell you, click and grow took off. I was just not, I just didn't think it was going to take off like that. Yeah, I didn't think so. So today is my day to clean out all my machines today anyway. So I'll probably just go ahead and film it. But the variety that you can grow in the click and grow, the price of the actual pots that go into the click and grow is very affordable opposed to other machines and you can put your own seeds in them and the fact that everything is just flourishing i've only had like one or two pods where i'm like oh i don't know if this one's gonna make it kind of thing when normally when i put a bunch of stuff in my lead pot i know something's not gonna make it but everything's just flourishing we're just picking lettuce off every day I can't wait to see all the flowers like hyssop grow and calendula, all the good things that I've been struggling to grow outside, right? Excited. So September has been an amazing month when it came to collaborations. I collaborated with the Nama. I collaborated also with, um, I can't think of the name, it's Wirsh, Wirsh, W-I-R-S-H. They have not approved my video yet, but we're going to talk about it. It is an espresso machine. So I had one of these a while ago. Chris was 12, gonna be 13, so it's been 12, 13 years ago, and it's one of the older models. But I'm thoroughly enjoying this. So we all know I'm a, I'm am a Nespresso fan. Okay, that machine will always be bay. I still have two machines. Gave my son one when he came down. I love Nespresso. I've been wanting an espresso machine where it has like everything all in one to streamline everything on my counter. And when I don't want to buy pods and I want to buy actual coffee at, and just do the fine grind on it or the espresso grind and make my own. Because I find a lot of coffees, espresso coffees, this fine grind at home goods. And when I put them in my press, they seem to have little granules that come through my coffee sometimes. And so I was like, I just need an espresso machine. And then they reached out to me and sent me one. So I've been playing with it for two weeks now. Okay. I just need to improve the video so y'all can see it. But anyway, I'll put it here so y'all can see it either way. I love this machine. It's so cool. It's so good. And so mm, you have to like a strong, bold coffee for this friend. It's not your weak pull through the drive through with extra cream and caramel. No, ma'am. This is that wake me up. Keep me up. Okay. Coffee machine. So anyway, espresso machine. Anyway, so excited about that. I also work with Rest. We talked about that. Duvet, which is the most amazing sheets, luxury sheets I've ever experienced in life. This is like luxury on top of luxury. This is your fine luxury hotel, very expensive, bougie, two to five thousand dollar night hotel, you know, suite room. These are really good sheets. These are cooling to touch. They are have some kind of something within the sheet that is a has like a cleaning mechanism so when you sweat it wicks away from your body and they dry quick like these these sheets are good so yeah they're expensive i'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all i always tell you this but they are good okay now when it came to brooklinen brooklinen was really good for me this month too they actually sent me out some sheets i actually have brooklinen's um duvet on my bed currently it's going to stay I love it. Y'all know I love it. It is that long stem cotton, really good cotton luxury sheets. It's like your first start at luxury when you can afford the one plus uh, on a pack of sheets. Okay. These are so good. So September was good to me. Like I have no complaints. Very grateful for everything they've sent out to me. Just loving it all. So I'll make sure I link all this down below that we're discussing, especially from these companies that sent me out these things. I'm very appreciative of them. All right. So what else went on uh, for the month of September? The gardening aspect. So it's fall now, right? And I have put out all the seeds that I'm going to put for fall. I purchased some seeds from free heirloomseed.org. Where you do a donation, like of $10 or more, or whatever, whatever you want to donate, $10 a minimum, and they send you out 15 seeds. I did 20 
dollars in donation plus an additional five for whatever and they sent me out 30 packs of seeds so y'all know that's like amazing so i was able to drop a ton of seeds for fall in september and put out some dirt some soil whatever put out a few gardening bags and i'm just ready for everything to start growing so that is my garden update i did do a garden update video and once they approve the Nespresso machine or if they don't it doesn't matter I'm gonna probably just chop and paste and just take that video and let, let y'all see it because it's ready to go and so that's it for like when it came to gardening and everything that's like collaboration so I did purchase a few things oh no it's one more collaboration I haven't done this video either so I need to do this one too but I want to use it for a month and I told them that so proven is a subscription you can go online you answer all these questions they ask you about your skincare you watch your face do you wear makeup um what parts of your face or skin that you want to work on whatever whatever yada yada and they make these formulas you know to your need ma'am okay so they sent me out a cleanser so when i think of a cleanser i think of something that is going to foam a little lather something right no ma'am it comes out like lotion let me tell you it comes out like a lotion and you put this on and you wash it off right see it doesn't lather there's nothing right um when you wash this off it feels like washing off a facial mask you can feel this like everything just starts to like tighten up and it's like what so i've been using this for the last three weeks so i need to go ahead and do their video and I still don't know how I feel mentally about not seeing a lather. Like, I'm so used to seeing a lather of some sort. Not even a lot, just a little something, right? But this is really good. All right, so then this one right here is the Proven Personalized Night Cream. This is so good. I wake up the next morning and I feel like, almost like um, you slept in like a... A luxe night cream but something very moisturizing nothing on my face is dry everything looks smooth feels smooth yeah i've been using this and you only need a little bit oh i love this so this is good i can't wait to share that with you all i'm really enjoying that and i just wanted to try it out for the month i didn't want to use anything else and just y'all know me same thing with the um sea moss when i started this i tried this first with no other vitamins and just went for it and then from there on i've been using it ever since so i just ordered another bottle it came in because i told you it's not that many left in this one if you're not on the sea moss burdock root and battle wag then i don't know what you're doing with your life ma'am you can either get the capsules the gummies or the gel like this is the energy i needed this is that health boost i needed this is that getting rid of that mucus in the morning that sluggish feeling this is like that imbalance i've been feeling like for years i feel like it took a while i feel like the first 30 days i felt the difference i feel like by the time the 60 days came around i really felt like okay i'm not in the morning right i felt that right i really felt like um it was doing its job i did a whole video on this about the mucus releasing a lot of it from my body and this is like a daily thing I'm doing. And I feel like the longer I take it, the more balanced I am. Yeah, the more balanced I am. So I told you all in the beginning, it was the mucus. Then it was the energy. Then it was the cravings of certain foods and things I no longer have. Because I feel like the balance that was imbalanced is now becoming balanced. So my body's not asking for the sodium filled I things because it feels like it's getting the need the nutrition that it needs or oh, let's take it in. it's getting the minerals that it needs through the sea moss battle back and butter fruit right opposed to my body craving these minerals that it's lacking through foods okay I feel good I understand I'll link this down below if you don't have it I don't know what you're doing yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. All right, so for the month of September, I actually received a package. I need to share it with you all. It's from City Beauty. Y'all, I had a lip gloss on now. This is a plumping lip gloss. Can you believe I put a plumping lip gloss on? I was like, oh my goodness, this feels so good. It had a sticky, stringy thing or whatever. It's so moisturized. I... <laughs> I love this. So out of the pack, I just tried that. I didn't really try too much of the other stuff. They gave me some body cream for like crepey skin or whatever. It's more mature like body care line or whatever. Whatever. I'm just, just trying to 
do proven first and then we're gonna do that and test that out i didn't want to just but i will do a unboxing and show you what i did receive okay maybe i'll do it at the end of this video it's gonna be long it's just saying for him all right so for the month of september i went to the cosmetic company store and i purchased the mac in extreme dimension 3d lash i told you all before my lashes are just gray and my uh, eyebrows are gray so you never really see my lashes until i put mascara on i love this i will be buying so many more of these i, I just said i'm going back this weekend to get three or four more packs of these because this lash is good and i've always been a huge fan of the tom for big ass lash and big ass lash whatever it's called whatever y'all know what i mean and this is good i love the way it separates my lashes yeah i love this loving this lately i've been wearing this lipstick and this is the Pandemonium from um, Urban Decay. Urban Decay. And this is Pandemonium. I'm obsessed with this. This is a beautiful purple lippy. Look at this. I wore it the other day in a video. And I told y'all this is, yeah. I have another one like this too. I just realized today, this morning. I was like, I wonder if it's the same color. Anyway, hopefully not. If you follow me on another channel, you know I've been wearing this almost every day at night. It's something about taking this vanilla and layering it with fragrances during fall that, yeah, driving me crazy. i just been back on this. I think for spring and summer, I did a lot of the lavender, the rose type of scent. But I'm back on the vanilla. So, yeah, I need to order another one. I, I go through these so quickly, but they're so moisturizing. Like I say, here in Texas, we get extremely hot during the day, summer, in the spring, summer, beginning of fall. And... I don't really like putting lotion and oils on in the morning. I like to lather my body up at night, let it absorb in my skin, moisturize my body. See, I'm still shining from last night. That way I don't have to put too much on the day and I'm good to go when I wake up in the morning. So that's that. One thing I did purchase this, um, I did purchase these headphones in September for the gym. I've been wanting headphones that don't just sit in your ear. For some reason, when I sweat, I feel like it's like static or almost like shocking. And I'm like, oh, no, we, we need these ears. We, we're not trying to be <laughs> lose no hearing. So I went and purchased these off of Amazon. And it's just really nice, sleek design headphones. And they fit really well on my head. And although they block out outside noise once the headphones are on and the music is going, I could still hear a little something because before I had headphones that I couldn't hear past the headphone and I wouldn't know when people were walking by me like at the trail or something like that. And I felt like that's, that's very unsafe. I still want to hear a little something. I don't want all the way noise canceling headphones. I need to hear me, hear the music. And if it's a little something coming by me, someone speaking or something, I want to at least be able to grasp something. I don't like being in a zone and not hearing nothing and somebody come running by me it's it's uncomfortable so anyway i love these these are comfortable on your ears right love love this love this cushion it's like really thick here yeah so i'll link these down below if you're interested they weren't that expensive either i don't know maybe 60 dollars. i don't know maybe under but they felt good on my head but they're a little heavy for running but for what I do in the gym, on the treadmill, they're fine. Yeah, they were good. So anyway, so that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that on a separate video. The City Beauty Hall. Because they sent me so much stuff. And I need to do a reel for them as well. They just asked me if I would try the, uh, the products. I didn't have to do a video or anything. So it's just a PR package. But I want to share it with you all just in case you're interested. So I'll see you on the next video. If you like this type of video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the month of September with the content that I brought to you, let me know down below. Uh, for September, Shaper Month was good to me. I loved Shaper Month September. They had these shorts with the mesh. They had the jacker shorts. They came out with the different colors in the high-waisted leggings. Shaper Mint was in that thing for September. I actually did several videos for them in September. I need to do another one because I'm just still all things Shaper Mint. The high waisted panties, the bloomers, like yesterday I did a video, you can kind of see like under my dress. Remember, I had the boy shorts underneath. I, this, it wasn't the undies, so y'all know. And I'm comfortable wearing those, so when the wind blows, it just look like almost like bloomers that the girls wear when chili skirts or whatever, but they are fitting and they're supportive. So. Anyway, I'll link down Shaper Mint down below the code that is currently active if you're interested. So you can purchase you some high waist 
tights friend because the season is here it's the season for them tights now I, I i agree with some of you all who say you wish they had pockets ma'am if they had pockets we would sell them things out i know we would okay see you on the next video have an amazing day peace and blessings